Hey guys, my name is Sam Killer and I'm here once again with Black Lotus Audio today showing you how to make a very awesome future rhythm bass. So without talking any longer, we're gonna hop into our DAW and get working with the bass. So the bass that we're going to be doing today is what I call a transitional bass. It is a bass that fills the gap between two main basses. So you have the main, main bass or main bass progression. There's a little gap which this bass that we're going to be making goes and then it goes into the second bass. And this is very commonly seen in rhythm, dubstep, like all these heavy basses. And you can find it very easily. For example, any rushdown artist like Ace Ara, Shime. So I'm gonna show you guys a filler bass that you can make using Vital. So I'm gonna start by choosing a few wave tables. So I'm just gonna start by clicking here, going into the factory wave tables, and choosing classic fade so I got classic fade here I also want a classic fade over here and then I want a basic shapes on this one here so oscillator 3 is going to be our sub oscillator which I wanted to go directly out oscillator 1 and 2 are going to go into filter number 1 and they're going to be set to negative 24 dBs so that it's two octaves down. I'm gonna adjust it because I want this saw shape here. So I'm just gonna drag here the frames until I get that nice little saw wave. Now I'm gonna set the first one, the first oscillator, I'm gonna set it to FM. So we're gonna do some FMing here. I'm gonna turn down the volume of this one. Since we're gonna do FM, we're gonna start experimenting with the sound. We're gonna crank this all the way down here. And something like this. So I've mistakenly adjusted the pitch of the wrong one. So oscillator three, which is the sub, should go two octaves down. Oscillator 2 is going to stay two octaves up. There we go. Much better now. I'm going to go here and I want to use this nice little high pass. Which I'm just going to slightly adjust because what I want to do with this one is cut off a bit of that low end I'm gonna add a second LFO which is also gonna be one fourth of a frequency here. I want both to be envelopes since it's, it's basically a one shot bass. I want to adjust the volume here. Very cool, already sounding very nice in my opinion. Now I want to add a second filter, which goes from filter one into filter two, so it's parallel. So it's, so we're setting a serial filter chain. And I want to use a comb filter for this one. The comb filter I'm gonna be using is the band spread flanger positive comb filter. Thank you. 
yeah something like that very resonant very metallic starting to sound very rhythm which is what we want and now i'm going to start adding a bit of effects here just to really process and really create the sound that we want so i'm just going to add some distortion here on the top with the soft clip i'm just going to Now I want to add some chorus. It's going to give it a nice little stereo to the sound. Cut down on the feedback a little bit. Maybe something like this. And this is way too much, so I'm just going to take down the mix. Because this is just adding a little bit of stereo into the mix, nothing too crazy. We don't want to go overboard on anything. We're going to add a second flanger here. So this one is a flanger effect. It's going to set it to eighth over one. There we go. I'm going to set the mix to 50%. And I want to add a phaser to get even more modulation to this bass so it gives it a more unique character. That's a bit too much. I'm just going to set the offset here. I'm going to set it to freeze. There we go. This is just going to be a very small shot of... Now I want to add some multiband compression, basically just some OTT. And some EQ just to f clean up the mix here a little bit. Just gonna cut off the low end here. And I'm cutting the low end because it's starting to get a bit muddy, so I just want to clean up the bass a little bit. Because it's sounding very muddy without this. I want to turn down the mix a little bit here. So for this delay, I want to set it to 1 16th with just zero feedback, so it's just one reflection. And the reverb, I'm going to set a very metallic tone to it. And now we can play around with the settings here so we can We can change the filter so where the cutoff starts, where the cutoff ends, we can adjust that parameter as well as with the FM. We can also set it here to trigger to create a pattern. And 
there we have it a very awesome transition base done and vital if you guys like this preset you can always check out our website we have a new feature rhythm pack that is already released so if you guys want more of this don't forget to click the link down in the description this was Soundkiller with Black Lotus Audio and until next time. Oh,